Hi friends, so I wanted to do a video on the Nest New York uh, Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. I bought this about a month ago and I've been trying it out. Now before this, I have never actually worn a perfume oil. So I thought I would do a video to kind of talk about my experience with the perfume oil, um, how it's worked for me, uh, different methods of application, like how I have applied or used this perfume, and just talk about my overall experience and talk a little bit about the difference between a perfume oil and an alcohol-based perfume. Um, now, this video is not sponsored. And before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button to see what videos I come up with next. And leave me a comment below if you actually have tried this perfume or this brand and let me know what your thoughts were. So now, if you want to see my thoughts and my little review on this perfume, keep watching. This is the box that the perfume comes in. It's a really pretty box. And once you open it, this is the bottle of the perfume. So it comes in this really nice amber bottle and it comes with 30 milliliters of um, perfume oil and it retails for 128 Canadian at Sephora. The perfume also comes with a dropper applicator. So this is great because you can actually control where you want to place the perfume oil and how much you want to distribute so i really like that about this applicator because it's not a spray where it kind of just sprays out and it kind of goes in a larger area this one you can really control where you want to place the perfume and how much you want to use each time the scent type for this is like a warm um, and sweet with a hint of spice and the key notes in here are madagascar vanilla uh, vanilla orchid and a little bit of coconut. So once you actually put it on your skin, you do smell a little bit of that coconut, which mixes really nicely with the vanilla. Also, this perfume is free of sulfates, phthalates, parabens, and mineral oil. So I have been looking for a really good vanilla perfume for a long time. I've tried so many and they always fell flat. Either they smell too much like the actual vanilla extract that you use in baking, which doesn't quite translate well on the skin, um, or it smelled like fake vanilla. Once you put it on the skin, it kind of started smelling like this chemical -y vanilla, which I really didn't like. So when I actually tried this perfume out, I was a bit skeptical because it's a perfume oil. I just didn't know if it would last or if it would break me out. So I just had some concerns about wearing a perfume oil which i've never tried before but once i tried it out and i smelled the, the scent of this perfume i was obsessed it smells like the nicest richest vanilla smell i absolutely loved it so i gave it a try i got the bottle and i thought let me try it out see how it works see if it breaks me out and see if it actually lasts so once I actually started trying it out, I noticed that one, because the scent is so nice and because it's an oil perfume, it's not overpowering. So when I would put it on my skin, I noticed that I don't really smell it as strong as other perfumes, but I noticed that I smelt it for longer. Like it lasted longer throughout the day whenever I would smell it. Like six hours later, I'd get like, I would move and I would smell like a nice scent of vanilla which was the perfume and i thought it was really nice and it wears really nicely throughout the day it really lasts and and the because it's an oil perfume it sticks to your skin really well and as your skin heats up throughout the day um it releases a little bit of the scent so you can smell it but it's not an overwhelming powerful scent so it's really great for people that go into the office if anyone's still going into offices at the time or if you work around people um, I know that there's a lot of people that are very sensitive to scents and can get offended very easily by other people's perfumes and I found that with this one only people that are super close to you like are coming in for a hug or are sitting really closely to you can actually smell it and even when they do smell it it's not an overwhelming powerful scent it's just like a nice hint of like vanilla in the air it's actually quite lovely I've gotten so so many compliments with this people are always asking like are you wearing vanilla I smell like this really nice vanilla what is that smell and I would tell them it's it's an oil perfume and what I noticed was that everyone was saying how it's not overpowering and how they didn't really smell it in the room when I walked in. Just when they came closer to me, they could actually smell it when they gave me a hug. Oil-based perfumes, because they're heavier, they stick to your skin. So 
they kind of like just stay glued to your skin. And that's why people around you can get that whiff because they're stuck to your skin. Whereas the spray perfumes, which are alcohol based, they kind of uh, start to evaporate into the air within two to three hours after you've applied it. And this is because once alcohol is exposed to air, it starts to dissipate. So with the spray perfumes, because it's alcohol based, it starts to evaporate in the air. So as you're walking by people, people can get that whiff of that strong perfume scent, um, but it also doesn't last as long. The other thing to note is perfume oils are gentler on sensitive skin versus alcohol-based perfumes. But with that said, it's still really important to do a patch test first just to see how your skin reacts to see if you're allergic to anything. I was concerned when trying a perfume oil that it would break me out, especially around my neck, but it actually hasn't. I've been trying it out for a month and I have not had any issues. I have not broken out especially here around my neck, that's where my concern was and I have not had any issues, no breakouts. So I was very relieved and very happy. Because um, oil-based perfumes are activated by heat, um, it's really good to apply them wherever you, your pulse points are. So I apply it here um, around my neck and I apply it on my on the inside of my wrists here. Because as your, uh, as your skin heats up in any of those pulse points, you can start like smelling the perfume a little bit, but very lightly. So how I like to apply this perfume is I take the dropper and I apply one drop on the inside of my wrist. And then I like to just rub my two wrists together and I take a little bit of that perfume, as you can see the shine there, and I just place it on my neck by my pulse point on my neck. That way I can really smell it throughout the day um, from time to time, which is really nice. And then I take whatever I have on my wrist and if I want to and I'm wearing a sweater, I can just rub a little bit of it on my sweater and it doesn't stain. I have done this on many different materials and it doesn't stain. It's absolutely fine. And then your clothes have this really nice smell of vanilla. Now I wouldn't recommend actually rubbing this on your um, satin or silk clothing, but if you have sweaters, it's absolutely fine or cotton. Just make sure you really blend the perfume between your wrists first and then just kind of rub a little bit of it on your clothes if you want to go that route. The second thing, which is one of my favorite ways to use this, I will take a body moisturizer. So like you can take your favorite unscented lotion. It's gotta be unscented. Well, for me, it's got to be unscented. I really like this vanilla smell, so I don't want to mix it, but you can. So I take my favorite lotion and I can put a little bit like that on. And I will take my vanilla oil perfume. And because it's oil, this is why you can do this. And I put one to two drops, depending on how much you want and how powerful you want it to be. And then I just mix it in my hands I blend it out and now you have a beautiful smelling body lotion that will actually make the scent last even longer. I absolutely love this way of applying this perfume. It's so nice and it has this really lovely smell and it carries and translates really well into the moisturizer. But I really like using unscented moisturizers for this. So that is my only caveat. Make sure it's an unscented one so you can really get that nice Madagascar vanilla smell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making this. I absolutely love this product and I really want to tell you guys about it. I was super excited to tell you about it, but I wanted to test it out for, for a little bit of time before I could tell you anything about it just to make sure that it worked for me. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this product before or if you've tried any other perfume oil. I'd love to hear what your experience has been. Um, let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or other products you'd like me to review. I would love to hear from you. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to see what videos I come up with next. And I'll see you guys next time.